Hello friends, and welcome to another exciting edition of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Fumbling Through Trails of Cold Seal 2. The last we left off, we had uh, just finished liberating uh, Trista. Uh, so, and as we can see now, the team is all happy. We now have, uh, we are now in a sunny uh, mountainous range. It kind of looks like Nord, in fact, in the background there. Uh, but yeah, no, everyone's all happy, happy days, and let's uh, let's continue on to the what is known as the finale. I say known as because <laughs> this is, I would say we're like still at like the two third marker, but anyway, here we are, Trista, Thor's Academy, Dark Night Time, and there we have the lacrosse team, and then there's the students and the royal, the nobles, sorry. There's the lacrosse team, all happy. It's almost as if they never they weren't fighting each other. There's Usus and the Fee. <coughs> the riding team, riding club and the gardening club, all getting nicely acquainted with each other again. It's all good. See, I like this. This is nice. This is nice. Like, you get to see everything, everything that's going on. I like it. Back down into the Tristas. What do we got? Oh, I've been being all nice and happy. <laughs> Margarita and Vincent, they're a nice dynamic duo. I like it. <clears throat> Oh, so this is like a street party kind of thing. Okay, there's uh, Becky and Klein, Becky and Hugo, sorry, fighting to the ball. Oh, I saw Andre. Oh yeah, of course. This is the first time the kid, the, the people have seen Valimar. Ah, I see. <coughs> I'm very intimidated by Valimar. To be to be to be fair, if there was a gigantic fucking robot standing outside the village, I'd be. I'd be freaked out as well. Marine, what are you doing standing on the ship? You realize you would have had to walk from Valimar to walk inside the ship. I don't get it. What do you got to say to yourself? I'm so happy to finally be back. And looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. Maybe it won't last, but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. After all, who knows what tomorrow will bring. I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. You want us to help liberate the capital? With Ruhr and Bereahard silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia. But if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as military academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's military academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. Y you're here too? 
You're from the Intelligence Division. Huh. Hi, Elector. Long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Yep. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? Oh, you know, that Azure tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance. But President Kreuss has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains, Crossbell is of no danger to us now. Yet with that, comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, We've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station. And that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there. It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, Rescuing a member of the Board of Directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. <laughs> Your Highness, may we have your permission to move forward? Yes, by all means. I, Alfin Rice Arner, humbly request that you carry out this mission. Very well, Your Highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy. I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corel Imperial Villa. It really is strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace. Just being back here, seeing the sky, and being surrounded by this cool air makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? 
Oh, hey, Celine. Where's Emma? Who knows? I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but I never realized how much. Oh? Well, whatever you end up doing tonight, make it count. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Oh, hey, are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us, even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. run into try treating someone special for once surely there's someone who fits that description better than me someone special huh this could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell go and walk around a bit already oh and go pay valimar a visit too huh. honestly anyone with half a brain could have figured that out why do i have to be the one to tell you I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. All right, so now we can use Quick Travel in Trista and the Academy. So we've got a lot to we've got a lot to do. Oh, oh shit! We're oh shit! This shit. Where the shit? Where's the shit? Fuck. Yeah, this ship is not as big as it should be. I mean, that. Yeah, there's no way you could fit five decks on here. No way. No way. No way. Schmidt, Schmitty, who you saying? This is the only place in town. Peace and quiet. Yeah, fair enough. Wouldn't have been able to get past the Soldar's Garden in town. The weapon you made. Like, we're trying to thank you, my guy. And you're being an asshole about it. Completely unfit to be used in actual combat. Any self-respecting engineer. So... Come back tomorrow morning. I'll give you the full finished product. Yeah, so we're gonna get a, a fucking awesome sword in the morning. We're gonna get it looking nice, looking good. All right, so we got a lot to do. Uh, where's the map? Yeah, so like, we got a lot of people to interact with. We got a lot of people to interact with. First things first, though. Um, we are gonna go to where is it? Here we go. We're going to speak to Lot. Where is she? Hi, Lot. Thank you, Lot. So nice. Now, next up, we're going to go to the library. Let's speak to the librarian. Carol. Gambler Jack 2. We actually have a lot of the Gambler Jack books. Still good here, so how about you read it? Pretty fun. We got the finale for it now. So, do we have all the books? Do we have all the books? Yes, we do. We will not read this. Because it is how many? 5, 5, 8, 9, 6, 7, 6, 11, 7, 6. Like, 100, 200 pages. 200 pages. I'm not reading that. Gamble Jack 1, same sort of scenario. Not going to read it. Um, black records. We'll have. We might have a look at this later. That's not that bad. Um, but yeah, no, we got this. Uh, books. 
Imperial Chronicles. Uh, we don't we don't need to read that. We don't need to read that at all. Anyway. Uh, wait, actually, do we need to read them? Uh, oh no, 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 no. If you remember, um, yeah, this is the, these are all the stuff from Cold Steel 1. Ah, I'll see, I'll see. Yeah, Gorelli Fortress Annihilated, yeah, so we don't need to worry about this. Fuck that. Uh, what we can look at, though, are these books over here. The Recommended Reading Corner. But we've already got them either, as well, so it's fine. Um, you can read them if you want, I'm not gonna. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, oof. Oh, got a bit of heart, got a bit of heartburn. Next up, we're going to Kirsch's Cafe. Because we've got to speak to Vice Principal Heinrich. Could these books be? By any chance, is that the complete Gambler Jack 2 collection? Now, the reason that we're going to speak to Heinrich is because he is not only a massive Rishi Amau weeaboo fan, um, but he is also... A very interesting he's also a very avid fan of the Gambler Jack series uh, so he is Rishi Amaro gave the series a whole hard recommendation <laughs> okay so that's why he needs to that's why he wants to read it nearly forgotten about his celebrity crush <laughs> uh, that Rishi Amaro is very cool we should pay attention to that name uh, finally I just acquired the copies of the original that's a shame. He's eyeing the books like a starving animal. Give him the books! Give him Gambler Jack too, Because they stay in our logbook anyway, so it's fine. We can just give him the physical ones. <coughs> Very well, I will take your extra literature off your hands. Should give you something in return. What have we got? A Zemurian ore? That's a fucking chunk of Zemurian ore! As in... the. As in, the we the, the material that gives us the best weapons in the game um, can use the customized weapons. Yes. So, what we're going to do is, uh, once we're done with all our stuff here, we're going to go and make ourselves some fucking bitch-ass weapons. Uh, and not for my reading pleasure alone. We will. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway. Yes. Yes. Just double checking. Make sure make sure everyone's okay. Yes, they are. Uh, next up, we are gonna do the uh, uh, I'm gonna go to this little house over here where oh the 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 the, 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 the uh, swordsman club fencing club, sorry. Hey Andre, let's check in on you, bud. Where are you? Come on. How did I know I'd find you here? Joyous towns such as this give off a sweet call for traveling musicians of my elegant caliber. Please, I insist, allow me to volunteer my music to make this a night to remember. <laughs> oh, Andre, you're such a cool guy. He really is. Very underappreciated. Anyway. Uh, no, that's mixed pawn shop. Wrong house. Um, nope. Nope. No. Nope, no. Nope. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Uh, just, is it this one? Is it, the, is it, is it, is it this one? Okay. Wait. I don't think it's this one. It's not this one. Wait, is it? There's something that we need, we need to pick up. It's not here. It's fine. Wait a minute. There's only two beds. And there's three people. A mother and dad, a mother and father, of course, and a child. Oh, they they sleep in this. What a fucking hovel! And look at this. Look at all this space. This is just a studio flat. Imagine people living in this. Fuck that. No way, Jose. Weird. Look at this kid fucking eyeing up his mom and dad getting it on. Fucking weirdo. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's mean. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the house that I was meaning to go to. Because... Where is it? Where is it? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. There we go. A magazine called Driving for Everyone. That's a nice paint job. And we got the fiery coloring. And now with that, we have every color available for the for the for the orbital bike. I like it. Um <clears throat> Okay, so uh now we have done all that. Um can I actually go into any of the stores? Can I can I go in? Can I buy can I shop? Can I shop? Hi, Bandon. Uh, just the festive mood talking, pay me no mind. We're free. We'll be staying up open late just for you guys. Alright. Nice. So, what can I buy? Energy jelly. 2500 to see, 20 CP, cures faint. I'll buy a couple of those, sure. And... And I've already got everything here, so I don't need that. Cool. Alright. Uh, Boutique Lassage. Anything here? Ooh. Oh, no, this is just that. The red jumper and the red boots. Um, they fucking suck. So, no. Nobody gets them. Anything else I can pick up while I'm here? Nope. Nope. That's okay. Um, where is... Can I go see George? I cannot. Huh. Well, that's annoying. Um. Yeah, no, it's 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 totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, all right. So, what we need to do is we need to actually go to the west exit, and then we can speak to Valimar. Hi, Valimar. Hey, Valimar. Hey, Valimar. Hello, Raiden. A big fucking towering man. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. Uh, no problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply, I simply wish, wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> Thanks. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to... dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. R really? Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Dracul's Rice Arner. Wow. So it really was Dreykel's, huh? I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Dreykel visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same ore with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital. And it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are. But it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man. Full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and merciful. 
he had dignity in measure with his stature, and still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. <laughs> he was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are not. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Brightwood's found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Take pride in those who become your sword, for not even kings can buy the world to your birth. Uh. Thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. So if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Well, that was nice, wasn't that? <clears throat> Got a nice little chit chat with Valimar. See how, and he praised us. That felt, that felt nice. That did feel nice. Next up, we're gonna speak to our precious little Tobin, little Miss, uh, little Miss Toa Herschel. See, uh, see all the the gang here. Nice, getting to getting cheery with everyone. It's good. I like it. Oh, you guys are all up here? Hi, Ring. Hey. Nice night, isn't it? Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. Oh yeah, you're right. To admit, seeing it again's making me feel all emotional. <laughs> no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. You're probably feeling lonely with Crow missing. Toa, George, Angelica, I want to thank you. Huh? What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. If it were just us first years, I don't think things would have gone half as well. So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you. For everything you've done. <laughs> we should be the ones thanking you. Yeah. Think about all the work Class 7 put into this and try saying that again. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous. The ship that carried us and our dreams this far. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. You think you can do that for us? <laughs> like you even had to ask. We'll be right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, 
It feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. <laughs> you sure that's even possible, Reen? That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy. But everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Reen. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck! <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Seriously. I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi. Their conversation finally finished, Toa went back to the student council room to dutifully go over the plans for tomorrow once again. And after saying their goodbyes, George and Angelica departed for the engineering building to get tools and equipment needed to va manufacture Valimar's weapon. Well, Alright, so... <coughs> now... <coughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh. <coughs> Holy fuck, I just... I just swallowed some air. What a fucking dumbass. Anyway, now that that's all done with, we can now finally go back to the engineering building. Because, George, I need some work, buddy. It's good to be back. Can't even think about how many hours the four of us spent here together. Try to bring him back? Okay. I will. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. I was hoping we could do stuff. Ah, uh, I was hoping we could... Ooh, I was hoping we could do some shit about, like, upgrading my gear. Oh, well. Um, what I will do is I'll go to the Student Union. Right. Can I buy stuff? Is there any point in buying stuff? No, because it all fucking sucks. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what was that one? Ah, uh, it's Imperial, Imperial Chronicle. Hey, and what, what food can we buy? The omelette. And the salad. Why would a salad cost more than an omelette? I don't get it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so. The last thing we need to do today. We have... As you can see, with every single member of Class 7, there is a yellow... Highlighter. There's a yellow exclamation next to their names. That yellow exclamation is an optional thing. So, what this means is, this is where the bonding events come into place. This is the partner event in this case. So, um, if during your playthrough you have been going to uh, certain, certain, certain uh, members Center of Department Members event bonding events, um, religiously going to them every single time. And if you've leveled up their link level to a certain amount, I think it's level six, um, then you can attend their partner event. So, what that what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, basically is the is the is the rom is the romance option. For the females and the friendship option, the the bro ship option for the guys, um, and that includes that includes, as you can see, Toa. That includes um, Princess Alfin, and that includes Milliam, but she's a child, so it doesn't matter to her. Um, so we have quite a few options to go with. Obviously, we got a lot of people. Um, but those of you in the know, who have been watching this, know that I am very torn between Emma 
and Toa. For this, for the sole purpose that is, they are both absolute fucking precious gems, and I love them. Um, who did I choose last time? In Cold Steel One, I chose Emma. I chose no, I didn't, cho I didn't choose Emma. I chose Toa. Um, <clears throat> so I think, in the interest of continuity, as much as I love Emma, and as as much as she is normal under normal circumstances. My queen, my 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 shining light. I'm gonna have to go with Toa this time around, just for the continuity sake of it, because in, because as I said, she is in fact a precious little bean, and I love her, and I want to, I want her to be treated with respect, and I know for a fact that I will treat her with respect. Um, yeah, no, fuck you, Machias. <laughs> uh, Toa. Hello, Toa. I need to talk to you about something. Going over to tomorrow's operation again, just to make sure everyone's on the same page. We gotta be sure everything's perfect, it feels like we're holding the Imperial Army's success or failure in our hands. There's nowhere we're going to let them down. It's going to take all of us in the Academy to pull it off, and now that you've promised to bring back crew, I can't afford to give uh, my part any less than my all. Oh. There's something I wanted to ask you, Reen. Would you be willing to show me around your class's dormitory later tonight? So Toa is asking for, for, hey, yo, Reen, let me come by your crib. Well, we are finally back in Trista, and I've always wanted to see in what it was like inside, beyond where I leave the requests, I mean. Can you blame me? You've lived there for a long time. And tonight seems like the perfect night. So she wants to get in your bedroom, Reen. She wants to smash. She wants to smash! Smash! Agree to meet Toa. Agree to meet her. Fucking right. Give her the grand tour. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> uh, I'll be there as soon as I get the chance. Smell you later. Alright. So, now that Toa is going to be our romance option for this playthrough, um... We can, we're, we're done. We're done. We can just go to the dormitory. We can just go. Well, I promised I'd meet Toa here. Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm here kind of early. It's your own fucking, it's your own room, dude. You can be there as early or as late as you want. Returning to the dormitory and talking with your chosen character will cause the main story to advance. Let's, um, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's enter the dormitory. And let the, the good times roll. And thank you for coming by. Guess you're all done with work? Yep. The other student council members said they don't mind splitting what's left between themselves. I wanted to stay longer, but it was hard for me to say no after they insisted I take the rest of the night off. <laughs> Can't blame them there. You've always been a workaholic. Sure is nice being back in here. I mean, I never lived with you guys, but I would drop by all the time to deliver your requests on free days. And you always had to do it so early in the morning, too. I can't count how many times you went out of your way for me. Well, while we're here, how about I give you a tour? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. <laughs> Why not?
that was the room Crow lived in for the two and a half months he was here, huh? He lived with the rest of us in our dorm before that, but he seemed to have way more fun with all of you. I was a little jealous of him, to be honest. <laughs> really? If Crow was going to come back anywhere in Trista, it'd be here. What with how it connects all of you, and even me, Angie, and George, I doubt there's anywhere in Erebonia he'd rather be. Yeah, you're right. I doubt he feels like he belongs while he's with the Alliance anyway. Which is why I fully intend to honor my promise to drag him back here. And I can't wait to see him graduate. <laughs> it really is amazing just how dependable you've become. When I first met you, I had no idea I would end up relying on you so much. Even after... I never thought you could handle it all. <laughs> I suppose we both had weird first impressions of each other, didn't we? I'm not proud of it, but I totally didn't believe you were a second year when we first met. That being said, you were quick to prove me wrong. You're so capable and reliable. <laughs> Thanks. But there's something I want you to remember, Reen. Like... I really do think you're amazing. And not just because of all you did at the Academy. You were chosen by Balamar. And you've gone through all kinds of scary experiences as a result. You've made a difference to the lives of so many. And you're surrounded by people who see you as their leader. But no matter what happens, no matter what you're up against, I don't want you to forget that you're only human like the rest of us. I don't really believe there are natural-born heroes out there who are superior to everyone else. And I don't think you're an exception. So don't feel like you have to shoulder everyone's problems by yourself. We're all here with you if you need us. There's no shame in asking for help or relying on others if you need to, okay? Wow, um... Thank you for saying that, really. Talking to you gives me a sense of ease in a way nothing else can. You're always willing to accept people for who they are, strengths, flaws, and all. I don't know about that. It was only because you were there to support me that I was able to start accepting myself for who I really am. That I was able to try and keep moving forward as I am instead of losing faith in myself. So, thank you. For everything. I'm happy to hear you say that. It's weird. Now more than ever, I feel so glad I was able to become Thor's student council president. If I hadn't, I might have never met you. And I doubt I would have ever started feeling like this. Like... <sighs> Reen, can you kneel down for a minute? Huh? Um, like this? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure everything will work out just fine. We might not be heroes, but that's all the more reason we'll see this through to the end without giving up. And we'll do it without losing a single one of us along the way. <laughs> right. And that's sweet. Ah, there we go. My bond with Toa strengthened. Of course, it fucking did. Ah, there we go, ladies and gents. Friday, thirty-first of December, the final operation. Oh, it's starting to. Sn it snowed overnight. Cool. Looks kind of frosty. You got your 
work out for you, Mr. Janitor Man. Oh, hey, the twins are on the ship. Wonder what they're doing there. Ah, oh, well. Ooh, this is the Tachi. Look at it! It looks fucking sick! This is amazing. Look at the look at the gold detail on there. It looks fucking awesome. I love it. You're really able to forge Valimar, a new Tachi from Zamirian Ore. There's a massive weapon totaling over seven Arge in length. I assume Arge is like meters. Um Yeah, it must be meters. It's uncommon shape made refining exceedingly difficult to say at least, but it was done. Been able to do it if not for the help of that stubborn old steward in the mine over there. You're the least qualified person on the continent to call anyone else stubborn. <laughs> uh, oh, it's three generations of of ah, oh, because George and then Makarov and then Schmidt and then Schmidt is of course one of um uh, uh ooh, shit, what's his name? Epstein. No, <laughs> no, no, is it is it Epstein? Is it Epstein. The Epstein Foundation. Yes. It is the Epstein. There we go. A long, long time ago. Not stay and study more under me. The office still stands over. I know talent when I see it. Uh, I love the fact that these three are just so stubborn with each other. It's great. What a beautiful blade. It is actually a really nice blade. Once you see it, like, it, up close, it looks amazing. Should be able to, should find it easier to use than any weapon you could have taken from a soldat. Let's give it a try! Oh, you could just... Oh, look at it! It looks so cool! Oh, it's resonating! They sure are. Whoa. Watch out. It's, oh, I like that glow. It's real nice. Looks it, look, it does look really cool. I think we finally have a chance. Feedback process with new armament complete. I do indeed feel this is easier to wield than previous armaments. I wonder why is Celine still there? She's like, cause she's not needed anymore. Reen finally, Reen knows how to work Valimar. Thank you all so much for what you've done. I only did what I did to satisfy my curiosity. Oh, what a fucking, what a fucking asshole. The orbital jamming device. Oh yeah, cause he built all that. As soon as his work is done. He loses interest completely and is off to find something else to do. He's a fucking war criminal. <laughs> Preparations are now finally complete. I think it's time to go and get... Okay, here we go. This is the cool scene. But again, um, because Van Dyke is... Um, he, does, he doesn't have any verbally spoken lines in this game, which is really weird. Gather here again at 0730. Make sure you're all wearing what I gave you earlier, too. Oh, Sarah, what did you give us? What did you give us all? It's 750? Fuck, you're like 20 minutes late, guys! Come on! Good. Instruct the Sarah, instruct the Thomas, instruct the Makarov. We leave them in your capable hands. Understood. 
Don't you worry. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. Students of Thor's Military Academy. I'm sure most of you remember what once happened. Oh, fuck. I'm sure most of you remember what was once imparted to you during your respective welcoming ceremonies. Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. These are the words of Emperor Dreykels, the man who ended the War of the Lions and founded this very academy. I asked you to consider what the world he refers to is, and what qualities one must possess to be its foundation. I imagine that you each had your own thoughts in response. However, I ask that you not make the mistake of assuming that foundation is synonymous with sacrifice. I believe that it is by walking side by side with others, opening up a path and treading it down, that one does this. As such, I have but one very simple message for each and every one of you to remember. Return alive. Welcome spring arrival with one another, and when the time comes, fly the nest with one another. And to that end, I wish you victory. May Adios and Dreykels the Lionheart be with you all. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor, as well as those who were captured with him. Everyone, move out! Understood. Right. And Reen can now use the S-Craft Termination Slash Dawn. What a fucking name that is, by the way. That's sick. We're gonna see that. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that. It looks fucking awesome. There we go. Surface air temperature 5 degrees, humidity 13%. There we go. So, before we go on to Heimdall and the Corel Imperial Villa. There's a couple things that uh, that we need to get doing. Sounds like we're all ready to go. Doesn't look like we're going to be hearing anything from Prince Oliver. No, no word from father. Oh, that's right. Yeah, actually. This, um... If uh, the what I should have mentioned to you guys prior was um, the before we did the operation to liberate oh <clears throat> uh, to liberate uh, Trista, we actually got a special um, message, special request from Prince Oliver uh, to go to a certain village in Western Zemuria. That's right, we actually went to the West. Um, not in the game, though, of course, because it got cut. But in the drama CD, you will see a story. Uh, you will read the story and you'll read the script um, for the special mission, which took us to a certain village. I'm not going to I'm not gonna name it because... Spoilers. Um, in Western Sumeria, and there was an actual, there was an actual um, a thing. There was a the scenario, a story built up, centered around this war. Now we got some quests we need to get done. My Yorman Gun don't want none unless you got some hun. Um, <laughs> when we speak of serpents, what should spring to mind but the fell Yorman Gun? But in truth. I have my own glorious separate. I bring out at parties on special occasions. <laughs> this is Major Vander. Please pay no attention to the prince and just kill the monster. Oh, being sexually inappropriate to your students. Um, great. There once was a woman from Ruhr. When I saw her, I wanted to woo her. She gave me a slap when I sat in her lap. Now I have one lover fewer. Ah, how I love composing a clever verse. That has absolutely fucking nothing to do with this monster that we need to take care of. 
Sashin violence. Nord by Nordeast. The hills are alive to be with the sound of monsters. The highlands, to be more precise. Uh, I'd like to look into it personally. I hope your skills haven't plateaued yet. Because you'll have to fly like dare I say it. The wind to oh, it's because he's a Nord. That's it. Ymir far where the fuck in these puns. K kudos to the writing staff, to the localization team. Danger strikes close the home for young Reen with the dangerous beast stirring up strife in the path to Ymir. Will he answer the call? Will assist to be impressed with his manly feats of strength? Will anyone actually read this? There we go. So we got some quests that we need to get sorted. Um, plus, we actually, now that we are on the 31st of December, we can go and do something. Um, which I had been wanting to do the last time, but I fucked up the timing. So now we can go do it. Um, first things first, though. The finale. Forward, relentlessly. To advance the main story, speak to Toa in the captain's chair and select commence operation. This is the last time during the story that you will be on board the Courageous. After beginning the operation, it will no longer be possible to take advantage of its facilities or visit other towns. All quests and sub-events will also disappear, and trial chests will be permanently unavailable. When you, while you will have another chance to buy items, quartz, and the like, this will not be for some time. So, as you can see, everyone leveled up a good chunk. And now we don't have any locked um, party members, which is fucking awesome. So, <coughs> Emma, fucking no. Usus, Fee, Laura, and Gaius. Sick. Party's all here. All right, gang. So, we've done that. Now what we have to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and uh, take our first break from the stream. So, um, we're going to come back in about five minutes and continue on our fabulous adventures. So, yeah, come back in like five minutes. Just refresh the stream. I'll be here. Um, just, well, just go do what you need to do. Get something to eat. Go to the bathroom. I'm going to go get something to drink. And yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in a minute. Okay. Um, bye.